Zapalin. Zapalin. Hey guys, what's up, what's up, what's up? How are you guys? Um, it's been a while since I did a sit down video, rather I'm telling myself that in my head. Anyways, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kovia, if you're new here. Um, thank you for clicking on this video. Thank you for, uh, yeah, choosing to watch this video. So please, the next step is to click on the subscribe button so that you never miss any, any upload from moi. Anyways, so today I'll be, um, as a, as the title suggests, I'll be talking about my journey on raw Accutane. So if you don't know what raw Accutane is, it's, it's a drug given to guys with moderate to severe acne so that um, it helps cure their acne. So as you might or might not know, I went to a dermatologist um, about one year ago, um, almost nine to nine, nine months ago, yes. So I went to the dermatologist nine months ago and um, I was put on medication. So um, raw acutane was one of the major drugs that I was given. And when you put on raw acutane, most probably that you, um, you're not supposed to get pregnant because um, this might, the drug might cause any, um, some deformations in the unborn child. So you're put on, on um, contraceptives too. So um, by now you, you feel like, oh, that's a lot. That's a lot to take in. But I was tired. I was tired of my acne. I was, I, I was at a point where I needed to get rid of it. It was affecting my self-esteem. It was affecting how I, 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 I was thinking. I don't know, it was just affecting my life. So I decided, um, let me see a dermatologist. I went to one of the best dermatologists. If, if you've not watched that video, kindly click here to go watch the video at the end of course because i want you guys to watch this video till the end kindly click on that video and go watch my experience with my dermatologist anyway so um as i was saying um the the drug causes a lot of um, side effects and um, i had to take the drug or, or rather i have taken the drug for about 11 months guys take it between 6 to 11 months but i read though google is not your friend when you go to the dermatologist trust your dermatologist they've done that a lot so you should trust them though i google that um you are supposed to be on raw acutane between six months to 11 months depending on your body weight so first of all what you need to know before you embark on this um on on uh, raw acutane if you're suffering from acne and you've considered um getting on raw acutane first of all go to a dermatologist it's a drug that's not not um it's not sold without any prescription so you have to go to a dermatologist and they have to deem you fit to take the drug second of all um you have to be patient you want to take it for a month you take it for a longer period of time um i'm on my ninth ninth month so two more months remaining before I'm done with the drug. And you, as you can see, though I'm wearing makeup, um, my my skin is clear right now. Um, it cleared on the fourth month, yes. So my point is you have to be really patient. Trust your dermatologist, be patient. You want to take these drugs for, for a month or so. You take it for a longer period of time. So you have to be very patient. And also, for some people, the, um, Acne flares up before it actually cures. So you have to be very, very patient. When you see um, a flare up, you have to be patient and know that it's part of the process because it, it, it like removes all the gunk from your skin, then everything goes back to normal. So yeah, that's one thing you have to consider. The third point is your body will dry up. It will dry up and when I say it will dry up, I mean even the other places you know you will be dry dry like um, dry like what like the sahara desert yeah you'll be that dry so you need to keep on um, hydrating when i say dry your lips will crack up mine used to even um, crack up to the extent that i start bleeding so um, i had to ask my doctor for recommendations on good good um, lip balms that i can use to 
at least um, counter counter the effects of the of the drug and um, he suggested blistex which has been really really um helpful i never even used to apply lipstick if you follow me on ig you rarely see me with lipstick because um my lips dry out and i have to keep on applying um, lip balm but at this point i'm able to at least apply lip um lipstick so uh i think you have to invest in a good lip balm and also keep on hydrating keep on drinking your water hydrate 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 like water is life guys water is life when guys when you ask guys what they're doing to their skin and they tell you they're drinking water it's true water is part of um part of the journey you, you need to drink a lot of water to get good, good clear skin fourth point you need to talk to people that the drug has a lot of side effects your emotions it affects your emotions um there's a time it used to be uh, very moody i'm just moody with everyone i'm just angry sometimes i don't know why i cry sometimes i don't know why i cry over petty things so it affects your emotional side and your um, you need to have a support group per se. I didn't know what was happening to me, but when I talked to someone who had gone through um, with the medication, they're like, um, that's part of the side effect. So I was able to to know, to consciously know that I'm going through this because of the side effect, because it's part of the side effects of the drug. And I was able to now control my emotions a bit and I was aware of my emotions like if I start if I start um, getting pissed over petty things I just calm myself down and tell myself chill out your hormones are not okay you need to chill out anyways um, so um, you also have to find people who are going through the same thing and at least talk to them guys approach I shared this on my IG shared I shared with guys that guys that I was on raw acutin and some guys who also decided to go to a dermatologist and were given the same drug have been asking me questions. You know, when when you talk to someone who's been who's been on the medication too, at least you get it's some kind of support group per se. So at least talk to people who've been through it before and yeah, you'll be fine. Also, um, you have to invest in good skincare gentle skincare because your skin is always sensitive it's hypersensitive at that at that point so you need to invest in good and good quality gentle skincare so that you don't end up messing your skin um your skin is very sensitive as i said so you have to be very gentle what i used what i've been using since when I decided to go to the dermatologist i also decided to get me some products that will work on my skin like i developed a skincare routine if you've not watched that also you can watch it here you can click click on the link below here so that um you're able to watch it yeah so that so those are two videos you need to watch after this video anyways so yeah i developed a good skincare routine i think i've been using the Yves Rocher products but i think um, even Garnier products are good like just develop a skincare routine so long as you're you're 20 and above i think it's essential for you to have a good skincare routine like just have a skincare routine it's your skin is white forever till you die so take good care of it so invest in gentle products don't invest in pro products that have a lot of chemicals in them that's why i decided to go with Yves Rocher. um you can even decide to go with um, products like uh, like natural products like turmeric soap blah 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 South africa actually um sell such products so if that's what you prefer you can invest in those um sixth point Whew. i feel like i've been talking for long it's like i'm giving a lecture Jeez. anyways this point is very very important let's not argue guys you're not relatives you need spf in your life you need spf in your life repeat after me louder for the guys at the back you need spf in your life if you've not invested in a sunscreen i don't know what you're doing with your life but you need to go get you some some sunscreen some spf 30 and above like just invest in at least sunscreen yes i have i i use um demelan sunscreen which i get which 
ranges between 1700 to 3k depending on where you buy it um, i think um, what's this shop called healthy you healthy you also has options if you want to get sunscreen i think there's one for 1000 i think is it bio balance or something i'm not sure don't quote me on this but they have sunscreen that you can at least invest in and um, invest in a good sunscreen not those ones that leave white masks on your face that's also a tip buy your drugs from wholesalers guys don't buy your drugs from high-end pharmacies you pay triple the amount because you keep on buying these drugs per month so it's better if you save your coins and buy these drugs from wholesalers these drugs are very expensive to me if you're a baller if all your guys are bo a ballers what? if all your guys are ballers well maybe it won't be expensive to you but um, to me those are those drugs have been expensive if you have insurance the better if you have insurance the better because you can buy them using insurance but uh, yeah, they cost around 15000 per month if you'll have to pay. So, yeah, they are a bit costly. Yeah. And mine was a low dose because I think I have I had mild, mild to moderate acne. But if you have, uh, if you'll be prescribed a um, um, high dose, then I, I, I guess you, you'll spend more per month. So that is something you have to be ready for. Yeah, but I think it's worth it. I seriously think it's worth it. And also, uh, the longer you're on the drugs, the lower the chances of uh, reverting, the lower the chances of you going back to having acne. Not unless you have polycystic uh, ovaries. I hope I'm not butchering that word. So not unless you have issues with your ovaries, um, the chances of um, reverting are very low. Yeah. Also, um, you need to really take good care of yourself when, while on the drugs. You know, when you take a lot of drugs, like when you're taking drugs every day, it means that you're overworking your kidneys, you're overworking your liver. So you have to take good care of yourself. If you have to, to I don't drink, so alcohol is not an issue, but if you have to at least um, reduce on your alcohol intake, please do. If you have to eat better, eat well, please do. So that um, you just counter, you're, you're just countering the effects of these drugs, you know. Plus, it won't last long. Okay, it won't last long. It won't last your lifetime. You just take them for eleven months or so. So, yeah, I just take good care of yourself while on the drug. Uh, what else? What else? I think this is the last. Point. As I said, everything dries up, so your hair also dries up. I noticed I had to re keep on moisturizing my hair all the time. All the time and i think it also affected my hair growth i'm not sure but my hair used to grow a little bit more like it it grew faster than now between the the period that i started these drugs till now i've noticed that it grows slower than it used to i i can't really pinpoint it but i think raw acutane affects your hair growth yeah so that's what i had to give like i had to agree i love my hair but i just decided to yeah let me just sacrifice get good skin then you can we can get good good hair though i have good hair but yeah i feel like it's not been growing at a pace that i expected it to um yeah so that's it guys what else have you gone through um what, what was your experience with raw Acutane? Any tip you might want to share with guys, please leave it on the comment below. If you're, if you're suffering from acne and you've tried everything else, maybe raw Acutane is your, will be your savior. I mean, it saved my skin. So, um, yeah, you can choose to invest in, to go to a dermatologist and probably 99% you will get help. I went to Dr. Maimba, but you can go to any other doctor. A good dermatologist who will help you sort out your skin issues yeah so thank you so much for watching if you've watched till the end kudos kudos guys um thank you so much for watching thank you for listening to me rambling and i hope this video was helpful to at least even one person yeah so yeah don't forget to subscribe to my channel give it a thumbs up so that it's recommended to more people and it might help more people tag someone share this with someone you think it might help 
someone who has acne and has been suffer suffering for long maybe it will help them and uh, yeah see you on the next one bye